What up YouTube Gen X? Like I said before, I truly do get annoyed when people disagree and people start acting crazy. As if you've never been in a conversation where you don't agree with somebody else. This is called dialogue. This is part of the process of talking about the various issues within the black community. So if something hits close, if something hits close to home, <clears throat> or if something comes up where somebody has one viewpoint and you have a counter viewpoint in which you feel strongly about, that's okay. Then we proceed. You know, for me coming on here, one of the things that I wanted to do was bring the conversations that I was having with black men and women in real life onto the internet because there's real people out there. So even when I'm dialoguing with my people, dude, we go at each other. But we understand that we're going to have different opinions so we talk about it in a constructive manner. Just let me put that out there. Now let me respond to the video I did on the, I forgot what I called it. What did I call it? Oh, I don't buy the child's mother, the child's mother stopping fatherhood. <clears throat> I can give a fuck about the women that fucked around with the loser and got knocked up. Me coming through and compelling those men to step their game up or whatnot, that would be on some mangina shit. I don't care about that. As we all know, any dude can lay up in you. That's their bad. And I feel the same way about dudes that fucked up, slept with the wrong chick and got her knocked up. They fucked around and messed with the hood chick because she had the fat ass. You know, she knew how to uh, twerk it and do what she needed to do in the bedroom. He fucked up, skied in all of inside of her, and now he has a child. I don't care about that. You made a poor choice. It is what it is. So we can throw those people out. Right? Anybody can sit there and get knocked up just like any dude can knock a chick up. I don't care about those people. I'm talking about the men that do want to be there. The men that do want to be there who feel like it's not working because the mom is not cooperating. I completely understand where some of y'all are coming from. The examples that I've been exposed to and the men that I've talked to, to be real with you, a lot of these men had the means to fight. So they had the resources to do what they needed to do. But I understand how it's difficult if the mother is not cooperating. Because once again, people don't want to go to the courts. You know, I know... Um, my fair share of single mothers and the ones that I know are the ones that are more so hey let's be cooperative and let's make some shit work so I got boys that do have an arrangement right there was no need to go to the court and get all crazy they have an arrangement but then there are the women where that's not going to work you're not going to come through and talk about how we can come together for the kid put our differences aside and work some shit out I'm getting to this point where the men say she's not cooperating, we're trying to negotiate, I'm about to bounce, I'm about to bail. My problem with that is I feel like you're stopping. I understand that the mother plays a big part in your relationship with your children or child. But I feel like there needs to be an extra push if she is not cooperating. Yeah, there's some women out there on some bullshit. Some extreme bullshit. I can bring up the question, well, who were you fucking with before? You know, we've already got, we've killed the women for their poor choices. So to be real with you, the same shit extends to the men. Who were you fucking with before? Like I said, people don't pull a 180. I don't believe, just, just like we smacked down the women that will say, oh, you know, he was on track to be successful and all of a sudden I got knocked up and he bailed. We don't buy it. I have a hard time believing the sort of, you know, she was this perfect woman. Oh, she was excellent. All of a sudden, you know, she got pregnant and she flipped and she pulled the 180. I don't buy all of that. So there's some brothers out there that have to ask themselves, who are you fucking with? Let's keep it real. Especially if you have multiple kids. We've already got on the women, but I'm not going to give the dudes a pass as well. You have to be more discerning in terms of who you want to lay up with. 
But anyway, back to what I was saying before. I understand how women can get in the way. But for the dudes that want to be there but it's difficult, ask yourself this one question. What if your son or your daughter or a combination of both falls off? They fall off. You know the probability of, you know, uh, black children coming from single parent homes doing well. What if they fall off? Is that something that you're going to be able to deal with? Now, if so, hey, it is what it is. But in terms of your own conscience, is that something that you're going to be able to deal with, knowing that you got a child that fell off? You know, the crazy part, I've told y'all before, a lot of my experiences and understandings of divorce came from men going through this shit. While I was in college, I had a job working graveyard shift at the gym. So pretty much, I was there when all the, you know, the older single men or the divorced men would come in after work. Right? Um, and they would talk to me. They would talk. Um, and a couple of dudes were black men. Strong black men, right? They would come through and they would look at me and tell me, you know what, you remind me of my son. You know, and what, how old was I? I was like, what, 21, 22 at the time? Oh, you remind me of my son and you know we don't really have the best of relationships or what do you have going on stick with it um, you know you have a, a promising future young man so a lot of these men would view me as their son right or they would say oh you remind me of my son you know he's he's off in uh, uh, Virginia or he lives with his mom in Texas and you know and they'll, they'll pour their souls they'll pour their souls it's weird how it works because you were almost like a counselor and people would talk to you and you didn't mind because it made your job go by easier. You know, you don't want to sit down for, what was I working, like six to eight hour shifts doing nothing, graveyard shift, right? Um, so you would talk and you would have good conversation. So you hear these men's stories and you can feel that they are upset because a lot of these men had sons and daughters that fell off. And they wanted to be there, right? But according to a lot of their personal testimonies, you know, it wasn't really working out with the moms. They tried to have some sort of arrangement. Wasn't popping off. She was getting in the way. And I understand that that should happen. There are women out there that are some vengeful, spiteful shit. Like I said before, hmm, did she automatically become that way? Or was she that way before, um, you know, she got knocked up? But that's for a different video. I'm saying to y'all, don't give in that easily. Now, if you don't have the resources to fight, I understand that. What are you supposed to do? You know, going through the whole legal system, that takes time and money. And like I said before, the men that I spoke to that were able to forego the mom stepping in the way, these men had the resources to fight. They had the resources. They had the means. And they could drag her out to court, and it's like, okay, let's see who's going to win. You know, I'm secure on my job, so I can take time off. Can you? Right? So they were real, they had the means to go to war. Right? And certain men don't. Especially for the younger cats out there who may not have the resources or whatnot, the means to fight the baby mama that doesn't want to cooperate. All I'm saying is, hey, don't throw in the towel that easily. Because at the end of the day, it may seem like a logical decision while you're younger. But you're going to have a conscience on your head when you get older and you start to, you know, just, just look at the world and reflect. You know, and you're looking at, uh, you know, <clears throat> people that remind you of your son or your daughter. Oh, man, I got a son your age or I got a daughter your age. Right? And it's just like, damn, I wonder how they're doing. Or you may have to deal with the fact that they do fall off. Obviously, you want to hope and pray that they amount to something. Right? But what if they fall off? Is that something that you're ready to deal with? If so, then hey, it is what it is. If not, then rethink what's going on. And you may not be able to fight that battle now, but who knows what may happen later on. Right? You know, once again, I, you know, I've, I've talked with men that had the belligerent baby mama, and there was nothing they can do, especially uh, when you understand that they had the child young. You know, they're what, 19, 20 years old. They don't have much going on, so they can't fight the fight. But what they did was they continued to do what they had to do. And eventually in time, they put themselves in a position where they can, hey, 
come through and put up a fair fight. They didn't throw in the towel. And once again, I'm not suggesting that there's men out there throwing in the towel. I'm saying that once again, that's something that you have to contend with. Are you going to be able to live with that later on in life? Knowing that you got a child or children out there that you wanted to be there for. Fuck the men that don't really give a fuck. You, at the back of your mind, know that that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to be there. That's all I'm trying to say. But I'm not a fool. I understand that that takes a lot of resources that you may not have. But a part, a, 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 a part with you trying to move on, in my opinion, it should still be at the back of your mind, hey, one day I'm trying to have more of a prominent present, presence in the lives of my children or my kids. So right now, I don't have the means to put up a fair fight, but in time, I'm going to work, get my shit together, and part of me being established, right, is also developing a relationship with my kids. It is what it is. Like I said, I don't care about the men that don't want to be there, right? And I don't care about the men that, quite frankly, are riding the coattails of the men who are rightly so frustrated. The men that really do care and want to be there, but the mom's getting in the way. I don't care about the men that want to come through and attach themselves to y'all hip and act like you guys are part of the same team when in actuality, the motherfuckers just don't want to be there. So they'll come through and talk about, yeah, you know, baby mama's getting in the way, yada, yada, yada. Right? Because, you know, I've heard the stories of the women that put up a true fight. Not that sort of bickering, yada, yada, yada. The women that put up a true fucking fight that they're really trying to actually put up a brick wall between you and your child. And you actually want to be there. I'm speaking to those men, not the fucking men that are on some like, oh, man, you know, she said I can't pick up my son uh, Saturday at 9. I got to come at 11. So, therefore, she don't want me to be there anymore. I'm not talking about those men. So let's get that shit, you know, squared away. It's something that's going to be at the back of your mind. That's all I have to say on that one. But once again, if you don't want to fuck with me because you have a disagreement in my viewpoint, A, it is what it is. But we can talk about it. And then build an understanding based off of that. And for the men that may have felt offended because they're actually trying and the mom is putting up some walls, share what you have to say. You know, put me up on game, put other men up on game so they know what's going on. This ain't a right or wrong conversation. This is about putting out different viewpoints. That's all it's about right now. Sharing your experiences, sharing what you have seen, what you have dealt with. Put it out there. Because like I said before, I know that the experiences that I have have come from men who had the resources to fight. They did. You know, they were on that... Uh, Michael Corleone, uh, Sam Rothstein, y'all remember Sam Rothstein from uh, Casino and Corleone from Godfather Part 2? It was almost like a similar scene. You know, they both had wives that they had kids with and they was, the wives were trying to leave. And they said the same exact shit. Yo, do you really think I'm going to let you leave with my kids? Do you think I'm really going to let you take my kids away from me? I will use everything in my power to stop that from happening. Right? You know, and lo and behold, you know, the women understood. That's the sort of men that I've been exposed to, the men that can say that to their wives. Do you really think you're going to play me? Do you really think you're going to separate me from my son or from my daughter? You know I will fight you. I will use all my resources. Those are the men that I know of. But yeah, there are the men out there that want to be there that don't have the resources and share how you feel. But as far as the, uh, you know, uh, mangina dudes, like, come on now, like, like, let's move off that shit. I don't give a fuck about the dudes that find some, like, crazy shit. The, the women should have made better choices. I'm not speaking about those men at all. Right, so let's move on from that. That's my vid. Y'all take it easy. God bless. <laughs>